Hey, what is going on there guys? Nick here from Absolute MTG, and today we're going to be taking a look at another sealed Magic the Gathering product, the product that I have in for you guys here. Today is Eternal Bargain. It is one of the five new Commander decks that came out in 2013 from Wizards of the Coast, and this is the white, blue, and black colored deck. So, uh, Eternal Bargain contains 15 new Magic cards. It also contains three oversized foil Commander cards in here, which uh, we can see one of them already. And it's also going to come with a 100 card deck. Uh, and on the back, we see a few of the cards. And uh, under the contents, it also says that it's going to come with a insert for how to play Magic. It is going to come with a insert for what Commander is. And uh, it talks about in detail, like what the format is, what the requirements are, the fact that you can only use like one of each card except for basic lands, and that you have to have like a legendary creature as your quote unquote commander. Uh, but it talks in detail about the, the format. It's a lot of fun though. So uh, we are going to open this up and take a look at it. Uh, while you guys are watching this, if you have any suggestions for improvements that you want to do to this deck, like stuff to add in, stuff to take out uh, for any of the viewers out there that want to build off of this deck and add add their own stuff and like spice it up uh leave those as comments down in the comment section below and uh, if you want to purchase this deck there's going to be a link down in the description as well so we'll open this on up opens just on the bottom right here I'm also going to have a list of all the cards that are in this deck as well in the description so you guys can uh, see them in whole. Right, so we'll put the box off to the side because that really doesn't matter for us. Uh, this oversized commander card is going to pop out here, but I want to do that ever so delicately just so that I don't bang this up because I do like these and I have a bunch of them already. So, uh, the first oversized card that we have is Aluro, uh, Ageless Ascetic, so 4-5, for 6-3 generic, 1 white, 1 blue, and 1 black. At the beginning of your upkeep, you gain 2 life. Whenever you gain life, you may pay uh, 1 generic mana. If you do, draw a card. Each opponent loses 1 life. And at the beginning of your upkeep, if Aluro, Ageless Ascetic, is in the command zone, you gain 2 life, which is pretty sweet. So, we'll put that up here. We'll... Move the plastic off to the side. And as you guys can see, we also get a pretty sweet box to hold the cards. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't hold the cards sleeved, but uh, it does hold all of the, uh, of the cards that you have in here unsleeved, which is still pretty cool. That way, like, if you don't care about buying sleeves for your decks, uh, it's an easy way to just store it. But you can go out and find uh, Commander deck boxes pretty easily. If anybody wants, I can put a uh, put a link to them in the description below as well, as long as at least one person asks for it. Uh, so we have Sharum, the Hegemon, 5-5, uh, five, five, four, six, three generic, one white, one blue, and one black, flying. And whenever it enters the battlefield, we may return target artifact card from our graveyard to the battlefield. So that's pretty cool. And we have Sidri, Galvanic Genius. So 2-2 uh, two, two for 3, 1 white, 1 blue, and 1 black. Uh, for 1 blue, target non-creature artifact becomes a artifact with power and toughness equal, each equal to the uh, converted mana cost until the end of the turn. And for 1 white and 1 black, tar target artifact creature gains death touch and lifelink until the end of the turn. So that's pretty sweet. Pretty interesting abilities. Uh, I'm sure there's definitely some room for building around uh, the various abilities that they have. Especially Sharum. There are ways to just kind of like combo off and have a loop of things entering and uh, leaving constantly. Uh, but as you can see, we have our insert for the Commander deck and the format. Talks about the format and uh, it just kind of welcomes you in and tells you what you need to know. Uh, and there's also the how to play guide for just general magic if you're absolutely brand new to the format. So um, I'm actually just going to put those back into this box and just put that up to the top there. And we have our cards here, finally. So we have uh, Aloro here in regular sized form. We have a Johnny's Pride Mate. And I'm going to be separating these by uh, rarity. So I'm going to have like the commons and uncommons in one pile, and then the rares and mythics in another. That way we can take a look at the rares after we're done. Uh, we have Serene Master. 
We have Disciple of Gristlebrand, Tide Hollow Strix, we have Viscopa Guild Mage, Azorius Herald, Raven Familiar, we have Stormscape Battle Mage, and then we have Sidri, we have Augury Adept, another rare, Wall of Reverence, we have Kong Ming, Sleeping Dragon. Essentially an anthem effect on a creature. Other creatures you control get plus one, plus one. That's pretty sweet. We have Tower Gargoyle. Razor Hippogriff. We have Diviner Spirit. Hooded Horror. Marrow Bats. We have Prexian Delver. We have Divinity of Pride. Sharding Sphinx. Really sweet artwork on it. One of the biggest things that I appreciate out of like these sets is always getting to uh, getting to see like some of the old artworks getting like reprinted and just seeing like old cards um, being put back into these types of sets. Uh, we have Prexian Gargantuan. It's just a really nice way to uh, relive previous sets that you've played in. Uh, Sharum the Hegemon in regular form. Uh, we have Mirror Battle Sphere, Sarah Avatar, we have Tidal Force, Filigree Angel, we have Sphinx of the Steel Wind, which I actually didn't even know was in here. Uh, then again, I didn't look at the, uh, the, the list of cards that was uh, in this deck beforehand, but Sphinx of the Steel Wind is definitely really cool to have in this deck. Uh, we have Nil Spellbomb. We have a Soul Ring, as as usual in these Commander decks. We have Sun Droplet. We have Swiftfoot Boots. Thopter Foundry. We have Crawl Space. No more than two creatures can attack you each combat. Uh, Obelisk of Esper. Pristine Talisman. We have Nevernoll's Disc which is really, really sick. It's really nice to see uh, disc printed in uh, another type of product. Uh, the last time they reprinted disc was for the From the Vault series, which was what, From the Vault, From the Vault Relics, I want to say? I think that's what it was, but I could be wrong. Um, we have Well of the Lost Dreams, another rare. We have Prexian Reclamation, uh, Dark Steel Mutation, Curse of the Forsaken. Uh, we have Curse of Inertia and Curse of Shallow Graves. We have Act of Authority. We have Cradle of Vitality, Greed. Sanguine Bond. We have Limdul's Vault, which is really, really awesome. They really did uh, did some justice for uh, new artwork for this card. That's really sick. We have Reckless Spite. We have Dromar's Charm. We have Spinal Embrace. Uh, survival Cache, Toxic Deluge, which is a uh, another really sweet card in this uh, in this deck. Basically, like a pretty uh, pretty cost efficient removal spell to have, based on how much life you want to pay into it. But uh, deep analysis, we have Order of Succession, we have Brilliant Plan. Tempt with Immortality, Famine, we have Death Grasp, and then I think we're into our lands here, I think it's just all lands for the rest of this, but uh, we have Arcane Sanctum, we have Azorius Chancellery, uh, Azorius Gilgate, Baron Moor, we have a Command Tower, 
The Mirror Guild Gate, uh, Esper Panorama, we have Evolving Wilds, Guar Isle Refuge, Lonely Sandbar, Opal Palace, uh, Orzhov Basilica, Orzhov Guild Gate, we have Rupture Spire, we have Springjack Pasture, which is a rare, we'll put that over. Uh, we have Temple of the False God, Transguild Promenade, and then we have our basic land. So we're going to have some basic plains, some basic islands, and some basic swamps. So that's pretty cool. Now let's uh, go back and take a look at the rares. So we'll uh, see how many rares and mythics we have out of here for those of you guys that are concerned about that. I know for a lot of people it just really doesn't matter. These decks are still fun, even like regardless of how many like rares to mythics or anything like that you get. Uh, so it looks like what? Four mythics? One, two, three, four, five. Five mythics. Nice, that's pretty sweet. Uh, Sphinx of the Steel Wind is probably like my favorite one out of out of this entire deck in terms of like the, the mythics that we get or I I mean even just like from the rares. I, I really love disc and um I love the, the Wrath as well, wherever it is, wherever it's hiding right now. Yeah, Toxic uh, Deluge. So that's that's definitely really sweet. But uh, we have Aloro here. We have uh, Sidri. We have Sharum the Hegemon. If we can get some focus there, my autofocus is out of whack. There we go. Uh, Sphinx of the Steel Wind. We have Sarah Avatar, Spring Jack Pasture. Death Grasp, we have Temp with Immortality, uh, Order of Succession, we have our awesome, super sweet, and really, really cost-efficient uh, Wrath spell here, Spinal Embrace, uh, Sanguine Bond, Greed, Cradle of Vitality, Active Authority, uh, Well of Lost Dreams, uh, we have our Disc, which is just really, really sick. Wouldn't mind to have that back in, like, standard. That would just be great. Or even in modern in general. If we could just have it in modern, that'd be awesome. Uh, Crawl Space. Filigree Angel. Uh, we have Tidal Force. Mirror Battle Sphere. Sharding Sphinx. We have Divinity of Pride. Perexian Delver. Kong, Min Kong Ming Sleeping Dragon. There we go. Uh, we have Wall of Reverence, Augury Adept, and Serene Master. So those are the uh, the rares and mythics that we get out of this deck. So a lot of sweet stuff. Uh, like I mentioned, if you guys have any suggestions for stuff to take out, stuff to put into this deck as improvements, please leave them down as uh, comments in the comment section below. Uh, the entire list for this deck and all the cards that you get in here uh, is also listed down below so you guys can check that out and uh, review it. And uh, if you want to purchase it, there's a link down in the description as well. But otherwise, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to like it and to subscribe to the channel for more Magic the Gathering content. And until next time, guys, peace out.